Hello everyone and welcome to this lecture about drone images processing. So in this second video we will learn how to classify the 3 d weight cloud to generate DTM contour lines and conventional ortho mosaic. So what is 3 d weight? So let's see what is the 3 point cloud. So the 3 d point cloud are the thousands of georeferenced 3D points generated using structure from motion SFN algorithm in UAV images overlap area. SFN uses pixel stereo construction technique to generate point clouds. Point clouds are used to generate TSM, TTM, conventional ortho, mosaic and helpful to take 3D measurement. So, let's see what is the difference between DOM, DTM, and TSM. So, the main difference between the three models is that DAM is a bare earth elevation model, which is a superset of DTM and TSM, with DTM being a DAM augmented with features like brickline and ridges while a DSM being a DTM that includes the natural and the human-made features on the Earth's surface. So here is this. These two profiles show us the difference between DTM and TSM. As you see here, the DTM not include the human-made. These two pictures show the difference between DTM and TSM. To generate DTM in AgiSoft, you need 3D point cloud. So let's start with a project with 3D point cloud. So to create DTM from 3D point cloud, you should classify 3D point clouds. To classify point cloud, go to tool, then click on dense cloud and uh, select classify ground points so click on classify ground points then in parameters set max angle to 15 and give ok to start the processing so wait till the process finishes Once finished, go to Dense Cloud Tool. So click on Expand button and select Dense Cloud Classes. So this will help you to view your ground points. As you see, the end ground point are in white color so let's start generating DOM for classed point cloud so to generate DOM from classed point cloud so go to workflow and click on bold DOM and in point classes as you see here selected all so click on select to select only ground point so and she created and low point so and keep only ground point then give ok click on ok to start the processing So here in workspace, you find DOM raster. So double click on it.
now we can create contour line for your project so to create contour line so right click on dm raster and then click on generate contours and here in interval you can put the interval between the contour line then check prevent intersection so let's keep it one meter to see now the contour line are created so your contour line feature is saved and under shape folder so you can expand shape folder if you are not satisfied with this interval you can repeat the process by click right click on dom and click on generate contour line and modify the interval so let's put 0 0.5 then click on ok so let's delete the first feature so right click and click on remove shape so let's keep only contour with 0 0.5 interval so now to export your contour lines so let's explore it a little bit that is good so to export your contour lines so right click on contour lines and click on export layer so give it a name to your feature and here you can select the form of uh, feature here you have camel point shape you have dxf Josephson, and more so let's select camel to visualize my contour line in google earth and click on so check shape label and shape attribute and click on ok so now creating conventional auto mosaic so to create conventional auto mosaic so go to workflow so click on workflow and click on build auto mosaic so then click on ok so in workspace so double click on auto mosaic so that it was about how to create ttm and how to create contour contour lines and how to create conventional auto mosaic so thank you for watching and see you for next video about drone images processing.